you want people to vote blue, you have to help people put bread on the table. State Senator Jessica Ramos is reintroducing legislation in Albany to raise the minimum wage in New York. All of this comes as the cost to live in New York continues to rise. I have nothing to show for working all those years because the wages is too small. You have a family to take care of. You have yourself to take care of. And it's not enough. Ideally, the Democratic Party should be fighting for working class New Yorkers and raising the minimum wage. And I'm hoping that Governor Hochul understands the duress that New Yorkers have been living under, especially as, as working class folks who helped her get officially elected to office for the first time, that she sees our plight and responds by doing what's right. So the minimum wage in New York State has been at $15 now for four years. It was 10 years ago that the Fight for 15 was launched. Fast food workers were starting to organize across the city. The Fight for 15. The Fight for 15 movement. It's remarkable that this movement started with a, a single strike of a bunch of McDonald's workers in New York City. It really did spring the rest of the country into action. It took six years of rallying, of press conferences, for then Governor Cuomo to finally enact a $15 minimum wage. My name is Lolly Edinger. I'm a home care worker for almost five years now, and I live in Ulster County. In my area, the minimum wage is $13.20. I now make $2 more than that, and it's not enough. 46% <laughs> of the companies that hire home care workers can't find enough staff, so it means people that need the staff are going without. I have a friend who is in a power wheelchair. Uh, she has gone full days where she stayed in her wheelchair with no one to get her out to use the bathroom not being able to get to your doctor's office because you don't have someone to take you. It, it's, it's a snowball effect that once we don't have enough care, everything kind of snowballs. What we're proposing is that we raise the minimum wage in New York once again, put us on a path to $21.25, at which point we would be indexing the minimum wage to inflation, meaning that people would get annual cost of living increases without having to go back to you know, years long fights. Raising the minimum wage is one of the most popular ideas in New York State right now, and not ironically, most popular in Hudson Valley. It is felt in every single corner of the state. The sentence that the minimum wage would hurt businesses is trite. When I talk to small businesses in my community or around New York State, they actually realize that indexing the minimum wage is helpful to them. I hope that businesses will recognize and speak out as Amalgamated Bank is in support of the minimum wage increase. So 2019, Amalgamated Bank increased its minimum wage to $20 an hour. That was after an increase to a minimum of $15 an hour during the Fight for 15 campaign. We think it's the right thing to do. We also think it's good business. We believe that recruiting, retaining talent requires being a good employer, making sure our employees are making wages that they can sustain their families on. If that rate was up to uh, the 21 and change, it would allow them to actually hire qualified people. You could actually say, hey, look, this is someone who loves their job and I can actually pay them a living wage. Higher minimum wages are good for the economy. They help grow the economy. Workers who are making minimum wages are also consumers. They spend the wages they make. 
those workers are not necessarily going to put that money away in an offshore savings account in Switzerland. They're going to use it to buy their kid a new backpack on 14th Street a few blocks from here. When people are doing well, we believe businesses do well. We want Governor Hochul to understand that doing this as soon as possible, passing it, signing it, enacting it, will actually jumpstart our economy and is the best possible way to fight the recession that we're expecting next year. We are seeing right now a big coalition come together. We are out here today because solidarity is the most important word in the language of the working class. We are sons and daughters, mothers and fathers. Our families work in retail, work in warehouses, as restaurant workers, as home health aides, as domestic workers, and they need some relief. Amazon, Chipotle, UPS, all these companies are all making record profits off the back of the workers. They have the wealth they have because he can't feed his family. Shame on them. Because you can't find a place to live. We say no more to everyone who's going to get wealthy off the backs of people that helped you get there. Since the fight for 15, there's been $150 billion in additional wages that have gone to working people across the country. Governor Hochul had a pretty poor showing at the ballot, and I think it sent a pretty clear message that New York State government needs to do a better job of doing things that people want. When we raise the minimum wage here in New York State, two million New Yorkers are immediately going to benefit. If I knew that they supported and valued my job enough to, to raise minimum wage, absolutely, I think it would, would make me appreciate them more and vote for them.